you need to ask yourself some questions. First, whom have you offended? Who has offended you? These are the two questions. The way you handle this matter determines what you are taking home. And there is huge blessing. Look at your table. Every essential of life is on the table before you. Every essential of life. Victory, salvation, healing, breakthrough, blessing, prosperity, everything is on the table. The Lord has set the table before you. But the way you handle this matters. Who has offended you? Whom have you offended? How you answer this question, the way you handle it will determine what is on the table. Let's take a look at Matthew 18, verse 21 to 22. And the collation, 3, verse 13. Bear with each other. Forgive one another. If any one of you has grievances against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love. Put on love. Take note of that. Which bind them all together in perfect unity. In perfect unity. Take your time to read that verse 13. You take it from 13 to the end. And the Matthew 18 verse 21 to 22. As a Christian, regardless of the circumstances, whether you are wrong or right, whether you are the accuser or the accused, whether you are the offender or the offended. Take note of that. In order to live in the freedom that God desire for you, you must forgive and let go the offense. 